Okay, this is Math 116, Section 0 0.7. This will be algebraic fractions. Um, so the first thing we're doing is we are simplifying a fraction, and to do that, we um, factor and cancel. And if you want to see more of this, this is, um, this is all Chapter 7. Yes, it's Chapter 7 in Math 095. So this one is 095, um, 7.1. I'll just kind of again note the sections where there's a video with three or four more examples like this. Um, so reducing this, we're going to factor and cancel. And the idea is the same as if I had, say, 8 over um, 10. I could write that as 2 times 4 and 2 times 5, and then 2 over 2 is 1. So if I factor, then I can cancel. So that's what we're going to do here. Um, so we need two numbers that multiply to be negative 5 and add to be 4. And so that's going to be a plus 5, and a negative 1 multiplies to the n, adds to the middle. Over two numbers that multiply to be 14, add to be negative 15. So it sounds like x minus 14 and x minus 1. And now we have common factors of x minus 1, so we can cancel those out. And then what that leaves is the x plus 5 over the x minus 14. Uh, this next one's a division. So remember when you're dividing regular old fractions, like um, two-thirds divided by, you know, five-sevenths, you would flip the second one and rewrite it as a multiply. So two-thirds times seven-fifths, you do the reciprocal and multiply. We'll do the same thing here. Um, I think for space, I'm not going to rewrite it. I'll just kind of factor and flip at the same time. So the numerator is going to go, um, this is 2 times the square, so that's our x plus 4, x minus 4. Denominator on that one, just a common factor of 5, so 5x minus 4. And division, so we rewrite it as multiply, so that 10x plus 10 is coming up. So I'll factor a 10 out of there and get an x plus 1. And then here I need two numbers to multiply to 4 um, and add to be 5, so 1 and 4. So x plus 1, x plus 4. And then we'll cancel out everything that was common top and bottom. So x plus 1's cancel. Um, x plus 4's cancel. Uh, 5 goes into 10 twice. Uh, x minus 4's cancel. So I think the only thing that survived is the 2. So that whole thing just reduces down to 2. 3 and 4 are the ones that have you guys try in class. So same thing, we're reducing. Um, with this, we're going to go x plus 3, x plus 4. Uh, multiplies to 12, adds to be 7. And then multiplies to be negative 18 and adds to be 3 would be x minus 6 and x plus 3. And then again, I can cancel out those plus 3s, leaving me the x plus 4 over x minus 6. Um, this one is a multiply, so on this one, when it was divide, we had to do reciprocal and then factor cancel. So this one, we just have to factor cancel. So numerator, um, two terms, and that's our x plus 1, x minus 1, a plus b, a minus b. Uh, two numbers multiplied to 6 and add to be 5 would be um, x plus 2, x plus 3. And then here, this is just a GCF of 2, so I'll take a 2 out front, x plus 2. And two numbers are multiplied to negative 3 and adds to be 2. So x plus 3 and x uh, minus uh, 1. And so then canceling, x plus 3's would reduce, um, x plus 2's would reduce, x minus 1's would reduce. So I think the only thing that survives is x plus 1 over 2. And then I forgot to say on the last one, this is 7.2 in 095. And that was 7.1 again. Okay, so then we're to adding and subtracting fractions. And remember when we do that with just regular fractions, we have to get um, a common denominator. And then we multiply both sides by kind of what they're missing. So we're trying to get to 6, so this one needs a 3 and this one needs a 2. And then that would make 3, 6 plus 2, 6. And then once they have the same denominator, now we can add our numerators. 
and get 5, 6. So we're going to do that same thing down here, um, but with algebra. And this is 7.3 from 095. Um, so here, I have an x minus 2 and an x. So just like the 2 and the 3, they're different. So all I can do is multiply them together. So I'll do this one by x over x. And I'm going to do this one by um, x minus 2, x minus 2. So that would be x times x would be x squared. And then minus x minus 2, x minus 2. A good way to think of that is with um, these extra brackets because uh, we're going to foil all this stuff out and then subtract all the terms. So it's easy to just start foiling and then not get the sign distributed. And then the denominator is going to be x, x minus 2. So x squared up top, and then that's going to be minus x times x is x squared. On the outside we'll get 2x, on the inside we'll get 2x, well negative 2x, so it's going to make negative 4x and negative 2, negative 2 for positive 4 over the same denominator. Um, I don't want to cancel until I have everything put together and I see if I can factor and reduce from there. Um, so this will go x squared minus x squared, so those two terms will drop out. Minus a negative 4x is going to be 4x and minus 4 over x, x minus 2. Um, I could factor the numerator and write it 4x minus 1. But since there's nothing that's going to reduce, there's no reason to go there. But we do at least have to look at it and see if it can simplify. Okay, number 6 is similar to last one, 7.3 again in 095. Um, this looks like a difference of squares a little bit, actually quite a lot. But that x messes it up, so it's really a common factor of x. So I'm going to factor that so I can see kind of what I have going in each of the denominators. Once I get it factored, then I can look at this and go, okay, so this one needs that x minus 4 to make a match. So I'll do that. So then we're going to do uh, 4 plus uh, 2 times x would be 2x. 2 times minus 4 makes minus 8 over x, x minus 4. And then that will be 2x, 4 minus 8 would be minus 4 and x, x minus 4. Again, I could write that as 2, x minus 2, but nothing reduces, so there's really no advantage once I can see it doesn't cancel. <coughs> okay, this would be the one I'd have you guys try. So this is going to be um, x minus 1. Again, we'll factor first, just kind of see what we got x plus 2, and then minus x, and then this I can take out a 5, x plus 2 again. So then hopefully you can see they both have the x plus 2, so that's covered, but this one would be, if they were jealous, if they didn't have the same stuff, this one would be jealous that that one has a 5, and then this one would be jealous of that x. So that gives us 5 times x minus 1, minus x times x would be x squared over 5x, x plus 2. And then distributing, I get uh, 5x minus 5 minus x squared, 5x, x plus 2. And then probably I'd rewrite it in descending order, but I bet the computer would take that version also. Um, so I'm just going small or large to small on the powers. Okay, and these last couple would be section uh, 7.4 for Math 95. Again, if you want to see a few more examples. Um, so what we do with these, these are called complex fractions. So we have fractions within our fractions. Um, and so we're going to take the LCD and use it to clear all the denominators. So in this case, my LCD for all the fractions present would be XY. So what I'm going to do is multiply by XY over xy. If it helps to think of it as over 1 over 1, that's cool. It's still just xy over xy. So it's just a big fancy one. 
And then what that gets us is um, 4xy up top over x minus 4xy over y. And then downstairs, 2xy over x plus 2xy over y. And once you can see the next step without writing this, there's no reason to write it. But when I'm first teaching it, I like to show this step because then I can show, see the x's cancel right there, leaving me 4y. The y's cancel right there, leaving me 4x. So you can see what it's going to do is this is going to knock out all these denominators. X's cancel, leaving me 2y. And then y's cancel, leaving me 2x. And then I can factor um, a 4 out of the numerator. and a 2 out of the denominator, and that one's a plus. So I can reduce the 4 and the 2. So 2 goes into 4 twice, so my final would be this. And then this last one I would have you guys try. And it's so looking at the numbers, we've got 2, 4, and 3. So 4 times 3 is 12. So everything is goes into 12. And then a bunch of them have x's, so it'll be 12x. Um, again, I'm going to show this. If you can go, 2 goes into 12, 6. 6 times 5 is 30. Go straight there. Likewise here, x would cancel 3 times 12, 36, and so on. Um, I'm going to assume that's hard for most folks, so I'm going to show the step where I go 12 times 5 and make it a 60x over a 2x. Again, if you can see that 30 without writing this, definitely jump to that step. But here it is kind of with all the steps. 3 times 12 would be uh, 36x over x. Here, um, 12x over 4 and 12x over 3x. And then we reduce everything we can. So x is cancel, 60 over 2, there's that 30. x is cancel, plus uh, 36. Here, 4 goes into 12 3 times, so that'll be 3x. Here, x is cancel, 3 goes into 12 4. And I think all we can do is put the numerator together. So that would be uh, 66 over 3x plus 4. And can't factor the denominator, so that means I can't cancel.